In the budget passed Thursday, $10 million is going to Louisville's Affordable Housing Trust Fund. People I spoke to today say it's a big step to address one of the city's biggest needs. If you do not have a home, a stable place to live, it impacts your ability to live. Jacory Arthur, along with other Metro Council members Thursday, taking steps to ensure everyone not only has the ability to live, but to thrive. Mr. President, you have 24 yes votes and two no votes. Thank you. Uh, the ordinance passes. With that vote, $10 million is now headed to Louisville's Affordable Housing Trust Fund. It makes a total of $66 million the city has allocated to the trust fund since 2015. And for the first time since the fund was created, 25% is designated to helping people experiencing the highest levels of poverty, those making 30% or lower of the area median income. So specifically for the families who have the least of the least and have the most of the most when it comes to needs. Executive Director of the Louisville Affordable Housing Trust Fund, Christy McCravey, has been working with developers throughout the pandemic to build affordable units, even as costs for lumber increase. We want social service agencies to partner with those that are used to creating affordable housing so that we can serve those populations like the homeless in a way that will help them to transition to successful housing. Along with the 10 million, the Center for Women and Families will get another 16 and a half thousand. 279,000 is going to the Goodwill program and 100,000 is headed to the VOA Unity House, a shelter dedicated to serving entire families that saw an uptick in demand for services this year. To have a reduction of our budget is one that we simply could not sustain. But some believe the job isn't over. Even though Arthur voted yes, he doesn't believe it fully addresses the real need of families struggling throughout the metro. This funding is far from a enough, but it's a start and now we just have to keep fighting for more. In the fight for more affordable housing, this year's budget is one battle already won. Gladys Bautista, WOKY News.